Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. Welcome back to Nick's desk. Today we've got some cool custom fixed blades to show you from TM Hunt Custom Knives. Let's check them out. TM Hunt Custom Knives are made by Mr. Todd Hunt out of Seymour, Indiana. And as you can see here, he's got a ton of beautiful handle options on his knives. And we've got a full range here at the Knife Center. Starting on the small end, we've got the Leave It Cleaver. Underneath this little Kydex mask is a really cool cleaver-shaped keychain tool. This thing's anything but a gimmick. You actually have enough purchase there to get a few fingers on the handle and use it for small tasks like opening boxes or packages, any of those little EDC tasks that you might need it for. The steel on this is 01, which is Todd's favorite steel. And the reason it's his favorite is because he gets a lot of great performance out of it. A lot of people have done 01 over the years, but Todd's heat treat is probably the best in the business. He probably gets more performance out of that steel than anyone else. The handles on these are really cool, featuring multiple layers of natural canvas micarta and orange G10. Next up, we've got the Hedgehog, which is a great little EDC sized fixed blade. Has a prominent finger groove here, so even though the handle's on the smaller side, you can still get a lot of positive retention on there. And there's even a lanyard fob here. If you have larger hands, that gives you a little bit more to hold on to. Your pinky can kind of lock in behind the handle right there. This knife works well in pinch grips, thanks to these thumb scallops right here. And the blade itself is 3 seconds of an inch thick, also 01 steel with a full flat grind, meaning this is an amazing slicer. The black wash finish on here looks great, and it actually aids a little bit with corrosion resistance as well. Next up, we've got the Magua. And this was designed originally as a patch knife that Todd made as a gift, but it was so useful it became a regular part of his lineup. Eighth inch thick steel, 01 full flat grind with that same black and stone washed finish. The handles on these are really cool and showcase a new innovation that Todd has just started incorporating into his lineup. And that's these gorgeous inlays in the handles. The orange G10 on this example is set off by something else that Todd is really known for. And that's beautifully finished pieces of curly maple. And this is actually an inlaid piece. It's not set on top. It actually goes most of the way through the piece of G10. And the tolerances are great. You can't really feel any seams and it looks fantastic. Next up, we've got the Skelemog, which is essentially just a skeletonized version of the Magua. Same profile, same handle size, but in a very thin profile. Again, stonewashed 01, eighth of an inch thick with a full flat grind. And unlike the others that have so far that have come with a leather sheath, this actually comes with a Kydex sheath. And if you want a little more girth, you can actually wrap this in paracord and there's, it'll still clear the sheath. You're not gonna cover any of that up when you wrap it. Next up, we're getting into the core of Todd's lineup with the Yuma. Blade roughly four inches long. It's everything you need for hunting, bushcrafting, outdoorsing, or just plain old camping. There's some cool treatments to the spine here. You've got chamfered edges and both rear and forward jimping. So whether you're engaging it in a saber grip or in a four finger grip for hunting, you're gonna have a lot of purchase there. Steel here is 5 seconds of an inch thick, still 01, still that full flat grind with Todd's signature diagonal plunge line. The handles on this example are natural canvas micarta and the inlay here is a, a bone linen micarta. Looks great and these knives are very well sculpted to feel great in the hand. This next Yuma looks even better I think with a curly maple handle with black G10 inlay. It also features dual lanyard tubes in the front and the back. And the two sections of jimping are connected by a very gorgeous section of vine file work. Next up is the Yuma's bigger brother, the Trade Water, and we've got one in the same handle materials as that previous Yuma. A really gorgeous piece of curly maple and that black G10 inlay. The main difference between the Trade Water and the Yuma, of course, is, first is the longer blade, just over five inches, and the steel here is 3 16 of an inch thick. We've also got another Trade Water fresh in, this one featuring green micarta handles with a curly maple inlay. No file work on this one, but it's still got that great feel in the hand. So apart from the small cleaver and the skelemog, all of these knives come with a very robust leather sheath, very thick, very durable, and these are all done in-house by Todd Hunt himself. He does all his leather work at this time. And now for the main event, we've got the Monster M18 Chopper. Probably Todd's most distinctive design for sure. First off, you've got a very accommodating handle. It's big enough to fit large hands very securely. And the blade itself features first a recurved hollow ground section here. It works great for small work, including pull cuts and hooking into brush, that sort of thing. But it also works very well when engaging it as a draw knife. This section of the spine here is completely rounded over 
meaning it's very comfortable when you are holding it in that manner. You're not gonna trip yourself up on the edges of the steel. And also if you're using a piece of wood to baton through and split some wood, you're not gonna tear up your baton as much on this rounded over section. The front section here is convex ground, offering a lot of strength for those heavier chopping tasks. And the front section here can actually be used both as a chisel or a plane. You can flatten out wood. You can engage the hole here with your fingers as a point to index and very safely take curls off of wood, or split open carcasses, that sort of thing. The other cool thing about this knife that's actually a feature and not just a superfluous add-on is the lanyard. This knife is designed so that you can put your arm up through the lanyard like so, and then use the hole in the blade here and that forward jimping to actually choke up. Now this may seem odd, but this actually works very well. Because the lanyard is supporting the weight of the blade with your forearm, you're not fighting the weight as you try to move the blade around. You can use this small section up front to do very fine work. And because there's a lot of belly right here, I've actually seen someone skin a deer using just this portion of the blade before. Very cool. So we've got a couple of these M18s in right now and they each come with a nice Kydex sheath. It's secured by a strap here with a pull the dot snap on the end, which means it'll only disengage if you pull it in one direction. The sheath is a spine draw design, so you just pop the blade out and you're ready to rock. So that's all we've got to show you today at Nick's desk. If you like what you saw, you can find it over at KnifeCenter.com. Keep coming back, we'll show you all the new stuff just as soon as it comes in.